Hello, it's the cycling triathlete. Today we're going on a journey to the Milky Way, spelt like this. Unfortunately, I don't have enough watts to get to outer space, so we're going to have to settle for the cafe slash farm. I thought I'd scout it out today because it'd be a nice pit stop on longer rides. It's uh, quite similar to a few uh, sort of milk vending machines that have sprung up across the UK. Uh, it's basically a farm. They've got their fresh milk there, they've got a vending machine. You put in some flavours and uh, yeah, you've got some flavoured milk. It's not too far from where I am, so a little 30 mile or so round trip. Nice steady ride, thought I'd uh, check it out. Standard winter kit on today, Castelli Perfetto rain or shine uh, jersey that I've been wearing since I started cycling, crashed it a couple of times, patched it back up, still works lovely and I uh, got the bib longs although that might be a mistake because it's a bit warm or a bit warmer than I was expecting. After about just under two years of hard use my uh, rear derailleur cable frayed at the shifter so I went to replace that then also found out just checking everything out that my brake pads were essentially worn which I knew they were getting close but whilst I was there I thought I'd replace them so you have to reset the pistons as well re-bleed them and then I was like oh well I might as well replace my rear derailleur cable as well whilst I'm there because it's all got internal cable routing so I've done a uh, fairly large overhaul of the bike. Internal cables weren't playing ball originally on the Ultimate because of the uh, a tricky, because I had a tricky time getting into the uh, bottom bracket cover. But once I figured out the trick, popped open, wasn't too much of a hassle. You'll also notice that I'm a uh, triathlete and I'm wearing socks and I'm not on a TT bike. So we're still getting used to that aspect. got two bidons or two bottles uh, two 550 mils so a pint's about that so I'm hoping actually to get the pint of milk into my bottle and um, I don't really fancy carrying a glass bottle 15 miles back home and um, especially if it doesn't fit very well so I've got two I don't know if you can tell but on the camera but this road <laughs> is so long <laughs> it's so straight and it goes on for ages and there's a slight uphill gradient the whole way <laughs> which is really annoying <laughs> coming the other way it's lovely but slight headwind today nothing to complain about really but here we go then rolling into Taiso or to be exact middle Taiso I don't think there's any climbs today particularly. Let me know in the comments uh, what flavours you reckon they'll have at the, uh, at the Milky Way. Let me know which flavour you would have. Like I say, chocolate for me, back up is strawberry. Tad Martin. Looks like it's about half a mile up the road from here. Okay, here we are. 
much milk for sale. 7 a.m., 7 p.m. All right. Let's leave the bike there. Pasteurized whole milk, ba, 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 ba. usual stuff, all very nice and clean. Uh, you can pay by card, by looks of things, or notes or coins. So, got two litres, one litre. Shouldn't need that, that's 30p, 30p for a carton. Oh, here we go. Look at all these flavours. So, we've got rhubarb custard, salted caramel, strawberry, banana. Bubble gum, oh, Oreo chocolate, vanilla, coffee, mango, white chocolate, cookies and cream. Oh, we're spoilt for choice. Let's take our glasses off. Right. So, how to use? Insert cash or hold card. Open the door. Okay, here's the instructions. Right, we're going to put it in the bidon. Uh, now, I wasn't going for chocolate. However, cookies and cream. Uh, we have to go chocolate. We have to do it. Right, what does it say? Reckons two pumps for 50p. Uh, I'll pay um, extra in there. Right, one, two. Looks good to me. Right. Open that. Okay. Welcome. Please wait for confirmation. So you have to pay six pounds. Please choose the desired price. And then open the door and. Okay. Fresh and hold. Fresh milk. Ah. There you go comes out. Oh. Ah. Okay, now we go. So Got me chalky milk. Make sure you bring coins, I'll come back and do my coins because uh, don't have any coins. Wish there was a way to pay on there. Okay, verdict on the chalky milk. Very tasty, very good, very nice. So you can actually select how much you want. So you can just fill it up however much you want. Uh, definitely gonna be used as a pit stop on my future rides. So, Milky Ways. Milky Way's milk shed. Recommend. Defo. That's gonna fuel my uh, return leg. Okay, so, taste test passed. Chalky milk was very tasty. Like I said, loads of flavors there. I was very surprised. Um, if you're planning to go, make sure you take cash for the squirts of milk because, oh well, 50p, um, because they only seem to take cash for that. The card uh, payment, there was no option to add it on. So, now ideally, obviously, you just add it onto your card payment, but yeah, there you go. Okay, so let's rate it. So, out of five for the pricing, five out of five. I don't think you could do it any cheaper and make money still. Uh, taste, we'll go for four and a half. It's, uh, it's really quite tasty. Okay, facilities, so the actual place itself. Uh, great, well signposted, and um, you can't really miss it. Big cow on the, uh, at the start of the farm. And then uh, inside was all nice and clean, well signed and everything. So uh, I'll give the facility a four and a half out of five. I mean, obviously being on a farm, in the winter I can see it being a bit 
uh, mucky. I mean, it's a bit mucky today and it's, it's fairly dry. So four and a half of that, excellent score. Taste of the product. I'm gonna go for a four and a half out of five again. A uh, really good taste. I mean, you can't really go wrong with chalky milk. You know, fresh milk, bit of chalky syrup, good stuff. Not that I'm a chalky milk connoisseur. Or am I? Okay, and then finally, I put this in a separate category, just for cyclists, uh, stopping facilities. So they've got a big courtyard, and I mean, it's a farm, so there's big uh, space for the lorries to turn in and tractors to turn in. Uh, no benches or anything, but there's some uh, concreted areas. Obviously, there's lots of walls so you can shelter from the wind, but you will have to stand up. And there's a fair few places to lean your bike. If you're in a group, you could probably fit a decent group in. So I'm going to give it a uh, three and a half for the uh, bike friendliness. Just because obviously, I mean, it is a farm. Like I say, unfortunately, uh, that works with it and against it. I doubt they can actually put anything up for bikes. And I doubt they get that much bike trade. So that's a good score for somewhere that's, you know, not really set up for it. So that's a total score of 17 and a half out of a possible 20. So Milky Way, you smashed it. Excellent score, excellent place. I'll definitely be returning, hopefully with some friends next time. Thought I'd scout it out first. Okay, this has been the Cycling Triathlete. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you want to see more like this sort of stuff, then uh, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.